Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is the first Sunday of Lent, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 through 13. And let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for forty days, to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, it is written, One does not live on bread alone. Then he took him and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give to you all this power and glory, for it has been handed over to me, as I may give it to whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, you shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem, made him stand on the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him in reply, it also says, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. The forty days of Lent we live each year correspond to Jesus' own forty days spent in the desert. For him, it was a period of preparation for his coming mission. That is, the triumph over Satan and evil in the world the redemption of man, and the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth. At the end of the 40 days, as described in the Gospels of St. Matthew and St. Luke, Jesus had three encounters with the devil. He is called the evil one, and Satan, and Lucifer, and Beelzebub. Personally, I think Satan is a bit schizophrenic and doesn't know from one possession to the next what his name is. Regardless, he is the one in our gospel reading today who tempts Jesus three times. Temptations to evil, and they can be many and frequent in our lives, usually come to us in far more subtle ways than they did to Jesus in the desert. A little aside on this issue, read C.S. Lewis's wonderfully entertaining book, The Screw Tape Letters. It is a delightful read with a deadly serious message. Getting back to Jesus' temptations, these would not be the only ones he faced during his three-year ministry. Rather than just seeing these three as just a series of consecutive temptations happening almost simultaneously at a particular moment, perhaps we should see them as three key areas where Jesus was tempted to compromise his mission during his entire public life. They were not just passing temptations of that moment in the desert, and they actually happened, but they were temptations which he was beset all through his public ministry, his public life. Much like we attempted over and over again 
with similar types of temptations throughout our lives. Some real examples of these temptations can be found in the gospel accounts, such as when the Pharisees asked Jesus to perform a miracle to show that God approved of him. In God, uh, Mark's gospel, chapter 8, verse 11. Or how about when the Roman soldiers cried out, Save yourself if you are God's son. Come down from the cross. In the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 27, verse 40. Or how about after feeding 5,000 hungry people with an abundance of food? The people there said, Surely this is the prophet who was to come into the world. Jesus knew that they were about to come and seize him to order in order to make him king by force. So Jesus went off again to the hills by himself. We read this in the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. You know, my brothers and sisters, clearly in varying forms, these temptations of Jesus can come into our lives as well. Satan is alive and well. He is a fallen angel a created being that exists and is not just a symbol of evil. Lent is a great time to fast, give alms, and especially pray for deliverance from all evil as we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate the message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, a verse or even a word that touches you. And ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Renewed by your holy word, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be upon you always. And may his blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.